Joe Brown's courtroom. Sales associate Robin McFadder says a former friend owes for damaging her home with a baseball bat. Defendant Alicia Walker says Robin was cheating with her boyfriend. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. Let's see. Ma'am, you say the defendant owes you $4,812 as a result of some acts of vandalism. Is that right? Yes, sir. Let's see. Ma'am, you say it's not really your fault. You weren't trying to damage the plaintiff's apartment. You were swinging at the gentleman, and he just happened to move, so instead of hitting his head, you hit her furnishings. Well, if he wouldn't have moved, she wouldn't have, his furniture, her furniture wouldn't have got hit. <laughs> You said that with a straight face, too. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, now, considering what I'm reading, let's just start with a couple of minutes before the defendant purportedly entered your home. Okay. What happened was she came and knocked on my door, and she asked me could she speak with someone that was in my house, a gentleman that was in my house. All right. And I told her that he didn't want to speak with her. All right. And she told me that she needed to speak with him. It was important. And if I didn't let her speak to him, that she wasn't just going to be happy. So she left. And when she came back, that's when she came. About how long after that was it before I she said came about, back? about 15 minutes. All right. When she came back 15 minutes later, what happened? She knocked on my door. Um, I opened my door. She had a bat. A bat? Yes, yes, sir. As in Louisville Slugger? A baseball bat, yes. She, um, right. she propped the bat inside the door so that I couldn't close the door. As she, when she propped she it in there to open... She was trying to open it. I put my foot by the door. When I let go of my foot off the door, she took and pushed the door in. Oh, when she, she pushed it in, lying. she swung the bat two Quiet. times at me. So I moved out the way. When I moved, she started swinging at this, young, this gentleman next to me. I guess by then he had come to the front door. No, he wasn't at the front door. He was still sitting at the couch. Oh, on the, couch. Sitting on the couch. So she had entered far enough to see yes. him on the couch. Yes, sir. So she swung at him. Yes. She swung at me twice. When she swung at me, after she swung at me, I moved out the way. She seen him and began to swing at him. How many times did you see her swing at him? Several. Okay. Now, after the several swings at him, apparently, from what you allege, there was some more swinging and some other things were connected with. Any home runs or <laughs> triple, triples or <laughs> whatever? No, it wasn't. Ooh, it would have been. But she destroyed my oh, whole she apartment. She's very she irate over here. She destroyed my apartment. Okay. What, what got damaged? My, my TV, my um, oak wood, china table, my china closet. Crystals. I had mirrors all through my apartment. She destroyed those, running behind him. Running she, behind him? Yes. With oh, the she really was trying to hit yes, him, and he moved out was. the way. And he was moving, and she was just tearing up stuff as she go by. Well, now, do you have any pictures? I have a picture of the bat. Well, let me see the picture of the bat. The bat. And the receipt from my furniture. All right. Do we put a cape on this bat? <laughs> This is the official assault bat. Okay. You called the police? No, I did not call the police because her, her mom came. Her friend called her mom, and her mom came. And when her mom came, she asked not to call the police, that she would pay for the damages that her daughter had committed. But in any event, let's see what the defendant has to say. Now, what were you attempting to do that led up to it's his fault because he kept moving out of the way when I was swinging at him with this bat, which caused me to inadvertently damage the property of the plaintiff here. How'd we come to that point? Well, first of all, I went to her house to talk to her first. He called me that we talk in the morning. Me and him talks in the morning before he go to work. He's supposed to be going to work. I see in his car, so I went down to her house. And I say, um, I call, went to and knocked on the door. I, I didn't go there with an attitude. Yes, I just wanted to go there with an attitude. I just wanted to go over there and ask her. I wanted to go over there and just talk to her and what see what was going on. Why it matter? But but my what man and her. That's my daughter's father. Why does it hold on. Well, my ex hold on, hold on, hold on. How much did you pay for him at auction? Thank you. I didn't buy him. You got papers on it? No. So you're going to go over there to her place to talk to her about him. Why yep. don't you talk to him about I him? I was going to talk to him. Well, all, he was over there. I was going to talk to him, well, too. Well, why are you following him over to her place to talk to him? What are he doing Instead over there? Instead of until he go home. <laughs> what is he doing over there? It, he's my, my daughter's father. You don't own him. He's my daughter's father. Well, he, he has lied. every right to come to his daughter's well, house. He, he, no every right. he has you every right to be over there. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's a good point. He has every right. Good point. You just well, mad because he ain't got no child by you. 
Oh. That's all it is. Girl, you mad. Girl, you hey, hating. Hey, you is hating. Hey, I'm and on sorry. What? On, on what? This, on all this. Why? Ty. Because I got it and you don't. Mm. That's why. You think. Wait, unless we're in some kind of breeding program here, why is anybody <laughs> happy that they ain't married and got a child by somebody and somebody else is supposed to be Jay because they're not in that M-E-S-S -S mess? Hmm. So you two are arguing about who met him first. You say I met him first, had yes. a baby, then he met her, and then he's back with you. Yes. And then over here, you met him before he met her and got well, a baby with her and so on. And he got another one somewhere, we find out, mm -hmm. about six months old, running around, and I guess he's proud mm -hmm. of having him. Now, what makes him so special other than he's not actually in jail at this moment? <laughs> We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. I took care of him. So I did. Oh, oh, look at that. Because I, I, was, I was experiencing a little technical difficulty. In jail. <laughs> I took hey, care of him. That out. And later today, her friend's ex is out of her mind. She says the defendant showed up at her home unannounced and took a baseball bat to her property. Let's take a look. Come on up here. I want to hear from you. You're the witness. <clears throat> now, uh, no, okay, I, now, what is your version of fact? Um, you first of all, let's, let's, clear, let's clear everything first. We were never together. We was messing around, but not together. It was never made clear Booty that we call. was... Really? Uh, yeah, same thing with her. Just happened to get pregnant. So. Really? So you were over there engaged in... Conversation. Fatherly child visitation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, no, at the time, we was just coming... Because we, we was friends, you know what I mean? We, was, we still friends. Yeah. How many children you have? Just got one, came around not too long ago, right? That's correct. Somebody else, third woman in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, why don't you wear some London fog, raincoat, so you didn't get one of them up who has got the attitude of saying to the other one because you didn't get knocked up, UJ. Well, like I was saying earlier. Aren't you glad you aren't stuck in that situation I'm where you happy. got something I'm to carry happy. around for 18 I'm happy years? I'm happy I do not do Whatever. Them anymore. Well, why don't you go up in there and do yourself that way? I, I, I was. Uh, yeah, you lost it. Temporary insane. Yeah, there you go. And that sums it all up right now. I ain't got to say nothing. She's temporary insane and just insane. Don't act like it's gravy. It ain't like it that. It's gravy. Yeah, it's gravy. It gravy. Like you know what I'm saying? It was just, and I thought we was clear on this. We was just going to, you know, do what we do. And, you know what I'm saying? At the time, I was seeing other people anyway. So I don't even understand why you, I think it. I can't even believe it. What I think it was, she just jealous because she do know her. And it's like. I got what you want, and you know, and then you know. Well, well, what did he do to you to get you so bent out of shape? Was it all that good? <laughs> no, it wasn't all that. He was giving me. What was he giving? When you? I needed anything. Well, I, what I was I giving you exactly? Anything I needed. What, what was, was he anything? <laughs> yeah, be specific. If I needed the money, he gave it to <laughs> no, me. No. How much money you get from him? Like well, if I need some money on the rent, he'll help me out. Yeah. Now come on over here. We got a, a ringside. Uh, Right, what are you, the referee of all this? No, I'm her motivational tool to stay out of trouble. And like I said, he was no good from jump. And he's sitting over here just lying because she's here. But they were together. He paid her rent. He paid her electric. He gave her money on car notes and everything. And like I said, I would have hit him more than with just a bat because, you know, they stay right there next door to each other. You don't do that. If you're going to creep with somebody, creep a distance. Yeah, but now, over here, over here, does he pay your rent? No. No. Does he, does he no, go he off doesn't. and pay your car no, note? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Well, well, see, I want for nothing. That's right. Yeah, well, I'll how much that. you get for child support? But I, I see, I know I've been paying. I don't pay her anything. I just uh, do what the child needs. Uh, in other words, you just front. You one of those brag to hey. your homies about, yeah, I'm real man. I got some babies. And that's how many him. more? Oh, that's him. That's him. I'm sorry. I got to be honest. That's him. Well, well see that. Anytime. Ain't... Whatever, man. Pathetic. Right. Now you two sitting up here, going on fighting over him. She's had her benefits, Yana. When when we was kicking it like that, she benefits. Had her benefits. Oh, what was she getting? Money. Well, okay, she got Dude. some money out of. I took care of you. I never told. And that's why. Wait, 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 what like, you say about I took care of you? Huh? I took care of him. Cause I I was I was experiencing a little technical difficulty. In jail. <laughs> I took and care I of him. I straightened that out. And he yes. was in jail. Yes. I took care of him. <laughs> I was having some some Ooh. some problems. Took care of that. Took care of now, ain't you glad you didn't hit him with that baseball bat <laughs> and you found all this out and you over there acting a fool yep, I'm, behind I'm, that? Behind that, exactly. You was playing them, but you ain't... Nah, they both knew what time no, it was. No, 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 they no, they no, did not no, know what time it was. No, 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 time out, time out, time out. You were playing them, but you weren't a real player because you didn't know how to play. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's what it is. I, they knew what time it was. No, you, you knew, I don't I care, know. but 
You wasn't a real player because you didn't know how to play. So what then. would I have done different to be a real player? I'm not going to school you in Come that. On, That's what I... you got to find out. <laughs> but let's put it this way. It ain't my place to get up here and school you on being a player. That's something you got to have in you. Yeah. <laughs> See, half of what it oh, is, cold, yeah. half of what the <laughs> secret is, you not running around playing any little lightweight game on them, playing them off each other. You don't sit there and take advantage of somebody's passions to inflame them, because that ain't nothing but a punk play, man. Oh, come on, Judge, man. Yeah. That's... Now, total is 4725 but I'm going to let you have four grand over here on the depreciated value of this, and that's the cost of wising up, because you saved yourself about 30 times that by continuing to lust after this character. Four grand in the court cost. Thank you. This court is in recess. Ladies, if you hold on, please. Folks, you may go out the door to your right. Everybody in the courtroom agreed that you were kind of proud of the fact that you not had proud. babies with I other thought, women. No, I, I really just thought it was extremely fun. Not the baby thing. I, it's nothing about that. It, I thought it was funny that she felt the need to come and beat me with a bat. We were all clear on this. You know, I mean, this is just something. It seems like a little bit of a game when you say that everybody's in on the fact that you can do whatever you want to do, not, and they're not nah, supposed. Nah, there's not supposed to be no repercussion for that. Two. You made it clear to her in the beginning that she wasn't the only one. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I don't want no lady. <laughs> I don't want no girlfriend. You don't want to have a girlfriend. No, I don't no. want a commitment. What did he say to you? Did he say that? No. He didn't say that. What did he say to you? We were supposed to be together. This was supposed to be my man. So you're the only yeah. one. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm the only one that didn't hit at. Betrayal may have ended his friendship and lost him a love, but it sure paid his way out of debt. My lazy friend moved off me for five months, and now I'm ready to be paid. I'm not paying because I know for a fact that he slept with my fiance. Telemarketer Lee Saffold is suing his former friend for rent and living expenses. Defendant Jose Cruz says he doesn't owe anything because the plaintiff betrayed him. Now, here's Judge Joe Brown. You're suing the defendant who was staying with you for past due rents and living expenses. That's correct. How long have you known him? I know him about close to three years. What happened? I mean, well, what, what happened was, yeah, he needs some place to stay with his, with his girl or whatever the case may be. And um, naturally, if you ask me, I got somebody for him to stay. I let him come and stay with me. Yeah, OK. And um, when he came, you know, we, we had an agreement right from the door. You know, you got this settlement coming. You did have all this money when you, when you came in. And based on that, by all means, come and stay with me. Now, why did you need to go stay with him? Well, I had moved out to Miami for a little bit, and um, things didn't work out over there, so I was coming back to stay in Orlando, and uh, I basically, you know, it was a quick move. I didn't have a place to stay, and I knew I was going to be buying a home later, so I didn't want to get into a lease in an apartment, so I did ask if I could stay with Lee for a little bit. So you had 10000 basically, cash assets, or at least a check for that amount in your possession? Yeah, which was going to go down to, uh, for a down payment on the home. Okay, now you were fiance. waiting some kind of uh, settlement? What was that supposed to be for? Well, I had an accident at work. There was a hazmat situation Talking about work. an on-the-job yeah. injury. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, how long did he stay there with you? He stayed there for like five months. From like March mm -hmm. to August. Now, what kind of agreement did you have relative to rent? We had an agreement. The agreement was from the start that he was getting this big check at the end, a settlement check, and so as long as I stay with you, I'm just gonna give you five thousand dollars when you when I get paid, when I get the check. That's fine, because um, we didn't know how long it was gonna be for the check to come anyway. But the agreement was when he moved in was it's five hundred a month for rent. That's for you and your girl, you know, and plus any other expenses. Um, not to mention all the money that he borrowed from me, the food he ate, just being a louse, laying around doing nothing to him. When he did work, never throw me nothing, and I, it never bothered me that he didn't give me anything because I knew this money was coming later on. This is my friend, supposedly, but my, my understanding is he ain't have intentions of paying me anyway because he's telling me he don't want to pay me because he think I slept with this girl or whatever, but that's got nothing to do with the fact that you did live in my apartment. You, 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 know what I'm saying? you did eat my food. You did do all the things you, that you did, and we did agree that you was going to pay me. And, and then for him to just get his money and, and well, stiff me that way. First of all, Your Honor, it was my fiance. Second off, um, Could it be if you ain't married to her? You, we we were getting like married, man. I, I mean, if I purchase a ring and propose to someone, we getting married, man. Yeah, but, uh, that's what you, you know? tell me. Yeah, and you knew that, and that's that's yeah, you that's know, and you're supposed me. to be a friend to me, Your Honor. You you know, you a friend pay his bills. That's what I'm saying. You, you know, I got kids. Yeah, but you know, you stand in my place. You eat up my food. You drive my car. You do first of all, you just just so I can explain myself. He makes it seem like you know I was just sitting around like I was you just was. eating up his food. I did I did have a job. A month. A you ain't month. give me no money. Yeah, because I mean, I know for a fact that you know he did sleep with my fiance, and I don't feel you that. Don't, you don't know for a fact that's what your I fiance. Mean, you ain't never seen me. Well, like let, 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 let's hear about the business matter, the contract issue here, the rent matter. How much was the rent supposed to be a week? 
A month? It's 500 a month. A month. So 500 a month right. for five months. That's correct. That's 2500 Now, how do you get to 4500 Well, like I said, the uh, 2500 for the rent, not to mention the uh, $500 didn't borrow once. Um, he borrowed 500 borrowed 500 for some event that we had in Orlando. He borrowed money on several occasions. That's just one of the occasions. That's the most he borrowed at one time. He borrowed $150 one time for something he wanted to do with his girl twice. Oh, actually, he borrowed that. And again, all this right here I'm doing, no problem, because I know the money going to come back to me within a month or so. And, and he knew he was... Five months. He knew he was sleeping with my, with my fiancé also. You saying that, so. but you, I mean, what proof you, you know, got, bro? I ain't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, whatever, man, I ain't something to you, girl. And I, my, my understanding is that he had no intention on paying me from the, from the jump, and this whole sleep with his girl thing, they, was, they wasn't working out, obviously, anyway, so this is a good excuse for him to get out of paying me what, what I'm owed. That's not true, and, I mean... Well, I mean, I know the way to explain it, though. That's the only thing I can see. Even if I was sleeping with your girl, that got nothing to do with you not paying me my money and you never standing in my spot. Basically, I mean, I lived there for about five months, three months into me living there. Um, my, my witness here is hangs out in the same circle, and she knows for a fact. The girl has said it before. How does she fiance. know for a fact? My fiancé has said Man. it before directly in the crowd that they hang out in, and it's been said before, and people in the neighborhood she have said, told me. He said, he said, said she here, said, no, she you. said, she said. Like Your Honor, there's several crap. occasions where I came home, and, you know, she was supposed to be out looking for work all day, and the people in the neighborhood tell me she's staying at the house. She has never gone out anywhere. Another time... Well, where were you? I was, out, I was out looking for work also. You can't, because if you work, then you'd blow I, I was, your claim for having do, a permanent partial disability a for a uh, workman's comp. Well, I was told I could do a job if it's a sit-down job, like a office Yeah, well, job. how do you... So you go out every day looking for a job, but yet you don't pay you any rent for, for five job. whole doggone months. Where were you? You say you're looking for a job. That's my, that's my point exactly. Like, Where you know, were you instead of being at home? If you had no job and you were out was, looking, looking for, for one for five yeah. whole months and you don't find one. No, I did find a job. I actually did find a you job. You did? Yeah. Did they know about that relative to your capacity to work? I had previously discussed that with you know, uh, the person who was representing me in that. And I know for a fact that the so job that I got So you did work. Well, if you work, why didn't you pay him? Since you're borrowing $500 to go get your girlfriend a party dress, to go out to go have a good time when you're supposed to be injured seems to me that when By you way, have hard times, you. you're supposed to act like it. Well, okay, I mean, that's I was, your defense. I was willing to hold my end of the agreement up until, but you I mean, didn't. this, this So you conspire. found, well, did you ask him? Did he ever admit to you? Yeah, I've been, you know, I mean, like, of course he's not going to admit to it. I'm of course he's not. He, did he you ask her? I asked her before, and she, I mean, she, of course she's going to deny it She also, denied right? it, too. Yeah. She denied it, he denied it. All right, now you have a witness. Come on up. Who might you be? Tell me what you can add to this mix. Nothing. <laughs> Basically, I don't know nothing about that whole situation, but, but I do you know you that. But you seem to have jumped in it and told him, look, your woman is wrong in you. She's sleeping with your homie. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. Where did you find this out? While we were hanging out. You and who? Me and her and some How'd other How did you get to friend? be tight with her? Well, we're not tight. We're indirect friends. Yeah. We're indirect we friends. The same yeah. circle of friends. Wait, what did his former girlfriend do to earn a living? Well, she was with Miles, she didn't do nothing. <laughs> what was she doing otherwise? Yeah, what she did prior to that? Was she with that that How old was she? She was about 23. And you are 32? You happen to be tight with a 23-year-old who's got some mutual friends, and you report back to your 25-year-old male friend here? Uh, Hey, I got to tell you that I heard from a friend girl that your girlfriend had been saying she got it going on with dude that you all living with. Well, I didn't hear it from a friend girl. Who'd you hear it I from? I heard it out her mouth. What'd That's she right. say? Yeah, right. She basically can't hold her liquor. And she came out and she was talking about it. She liked him. She was into him. You liked him, too. she admitted it. Oh, he had it. Yeah. Yeah. Let it, let it come out. We'll be right back with Judge Joe Brown. You know when you come home and there's a weird vibe, you know, the person's supposed what? to be out what? all what day. Vibe? What? What's you guys here? are sitting on the couch what? next to each we other. We friends. We sit down and watch TV. Sitting together. on the couch next to each other watching TV. All of a sudden we it's friends. panic. It's panic what time. Panic? And later today, she talks. Buy any large pizza at regular menu price and get a second pizza of equal or lesser value free. Get the door. It's Domino's Two Times Tuesday. AM Tuesday. Top model gets down in with his fiance. He says he didn't, but the defendant is using that as an excuse not to pay him rent. Let's take a look. Do you know her? Yeah. Where do you know we her from? Know we, are, we all from the same neighborhood. How yeah. well do you know her? I, I know her. Uh, yeah, how well do you know I her? I know her well enough to know she's telling a lie right now. 
Really? Yeah. But how would you know that? You have to convince me like, of right fact. Hey, so what? So she's saying some girl who she ain't even tight with just decided to give her dad information. Did you? Okay, you asked why a 32-year-old would be hanging with a 20-something-year-old. Yeah. We know each other from work. We who? all you have the who? same job. You and who? Yes. Her? No, these two. We have mutual friends. Well, who are we who? We go out to the club. Who? Who are mutual friends? Yes. Several people from the job. So what's your interest in this whole thing? I don't have an interest. Well, why is he important yeah. enough to you to go pull his coattail? Because yeah. he's my friend. Oh, where, do you know, a... where do you know him from? From the job. <laughs> I thought he was out looking for jobs oh, no, this is, every no, this is day. Before, this so you're is before. Just, before he went to, before after he came to back Miami. from Miami. Yeah. Before, before he left, left to Miami. Miami. The how three long, of us were yeah, working at a How resort. long ago was that? About two years. I've been there two years. And he was there two years ago, went to Miami, got hurt on the job, and came back, right? That's correct. So what are you doing hanging out with a 22-year-old male and you are 30-something? <laughs> <laughs> we're just friends. I we're mean, just it's, friends, we're friends sir. from work. I That's mean, correct. Mm -hmm. kind of young. So you I just mean, had to go spread this oh, rumor. Your Honor, it wasn't only her telling me things. I mean, there were situations where I would come home from work early, and you know when you come home and there's a weird vibe. You know, the person's supposed what? to be out what? all day. What? 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 Sitting on the couch what? next to each we other. We friends. We sit down and watch TV. Sitting on the couch next to each other, watching TV. All of a sudden, we it's friends. panic. It's panic what time. Panic? Let's scramble. Let's make sure. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 oh, wait. And by the way, who was paying the rent? for the old I wall was paying, I still pay the rent. How did he get the wherewithal to pay the rent? How did how was he paying the rent? Yes. Um, he had a job? Yeah. When did he earn his money if every day he's sitting at home with your unemployed I, I didn't say girlfriend? Every day. I said on on certain occasions. Certain I would come occasions. Home what certain no no, you're saying she's staying uh there uh instead of going what looking for a job she's going out telling you i'm looking for a job baby get up go to look for a job but turn right back around to go back where he is on days when you just happen to be looking for sit down employment every day for this whole <laughs> period of time well at the point at the point where that's I stupid do you home. mean you put your fiance down for some bs like that that's my point, Yannick. You know, that is really he dumb. Said, yeah, he, he don't you know what? You lady. got her mad at you. You lost a woman in your life behind some stupidity. And woman, you well, evil over here. You. you what you call a low-down gossip monger. You broke these hey, two you. up because your hey, mouth you. is no, big. Sir, and if it was a exactly. drunk girl, no, then sir, you should have shut not. your foolish mouth exactly. and closed it before yeah, you exactly. started all this hassle. Your Honor, it wasn't, it wasn't like only that. her that told me things. That's there were several right. other people in the neighborhood. Right. Male or female? Sure. Male or female? Male, male and oh, female. What, what male? Why who, do who, they like you that it? much? Why in the world would he have to sneak and do that? Because he was doing it behind my oh, back. I wouldn't I mean, do he that. Do I, it in my face. I wouldn't, you know what time I wouldn't sleep with your lady, bro. Come on, man. First, first of all, Your Honor, just... How many people out there think this whole mess was caused by idle gossip? Yes, if you do. No, if you don't. All right, man. Tell you mm. <laughs> I can't see that. That's just downright stupid. Okay, fine. Let me just let me just get to. It. I, I find your claim for rents reasonable. Twenty five hundred. I'll give you half of this for the living expenses. Bottom line is, is that was dumb. And you stop being vicious. Keep your mouth shut. Nothing worse than a gossip. You get 3500 on your claim. That's the judgment in the court costs. And he lost his girlfriend. Sir, you make like the door to your right. Hang on, I'll keep you follow behind me. The plaintiff has told the defendant he never slept with the defendant's fiance, but the defendant refused to believe it or pay his debt. He will pay now. Now, we're on to the next case.